What's up, Polar Pro crew? We got a new product for you today, the Chroma BND PL for the Recon Mapbox system. So if you already have the Recon Mapbox system, head to the link below and pick yourself up the base plate with the Chroma PL VND three to six stop. Add that to your Recon system, it's available now. So this one's sick because it's gonna allow you to independently control the variable ND as well as the polarization. So you can turn the polarizer off if you don't want it, or you can turn it on to reduce reflections. And here's how you're gonna use and set up the VND polarizer as it's a little bit different than the just the regular VND three to six. So this thing is gonna thread right onto your lens here. You got that and you'll notice that the stops lock at some point and then you just keep rotating and get it on there nice and snug. Now, if you need to remove the filter for any reason, it's easier to just swing this all the way over till you feel it stop and then you can unthread it easily. But anyways, for this, we're gonna thread it on. So you've got your standard stop range, which is this back ring right here. And you'll notice without me clamping down this polarizer ring, it's kind of hard to get those stops to move. So it's easier to make sure your rings clamp down and then your stops are gonna move independently of the polarizer. Now, you set your stops, you lock them in there, and then you can remove, just loosen this screw just a tiny bit. And then once I'm moving this screw right here back and forth like this, that's the polarization. So it's only gonna go from 110 degrees of rotation. And that's because that's the, all the polarization you need from on to off in any scenario. So you don't have to keep rotating it all the way around to find your polarization. You know, between here and here, it's gonna work perfectly. You're gonna have full on and full off. And then you just lock it into place. And now if your map box was already on, we'll go over that too, because it's a little bit nuanced with that additional uh, mount rotation there on the polarization. So this is what's gonna happen is when you set your, your VND is fine because you can set it and the map box isn't gonna rotate. However, once you do the polarization, you undo that screw and then you're looking through the viewfinder and you're setting your polarization. See how your map box is moving because it's connected to that polarizer element, which is the last piece of the frame. So once I lock that down, luckily the map box is super easy to just re-rotate, lever up, down. So just a third quick step after you set polarization, you just have to rotate your map box, but it makes it super easy with that quick release lever on the recon system. Now I'm gonna get into kind of a little bit of a recon refresher, what this compact map box is all about, the different options, and also the different gold mist versus black mist versus white mist stage two filters that we have. So quick overview, the recon has three different parts. We've got the base plate, which is this right here. It's the filter cartridge. This is available in a VND three to six stop, just a regular VND, as well as the, this new one, which is the VND polarizer three to six stop. So what these do is these thread on to your 82 millimeter lenses. So they thread on and once they're on, this is kind of like the mounting plate for the map box. Now, if you don't need a VND cartridge per se, Say you've got the FX6, there is a filter delete plate right here. So you don't need to add the VND to attach the map box to this. This is basically just a ring that threads onto your lens. And then the map box hood is gonna connect right to it like that. Or this hood obviously is also gonna connect to the filter cartridges as well. So you've got your hood locked in like that. Now the third component to the system are the stage two filters. So basically you've got your VND bases or your no filter base, and these stage two filters are gonna clip right inside of them. So it's super easy. It makes it a nice compact system where you don't have to stack out a bunch of different filters. So the new stage two filters that we just announced today are the black mist and the gold mist. And these are gonna be available in a quarter strength as well as a 1 8 strength. And I'm gonna go into the differences here in a little bit, but first let's finish the overview of the recon system. So we've got the mist filters, and then we've also got the morphic filters in stage two, which kind of give you that like fake anamorphic line across different light sources in gold. So this will make your light sources, your streak across gold, or we've got the blue morphic too, which will make that vertical streak blue. 
Then we also have, of course, the ones we already had, the regular white mist filters, um, nothing new there. And then the VND boosters. So these are just regular ND filters. Now remember, this is a three to six stop VND cartridge right here. Now say you're, you just are hunting for that sweet bokeh and you're shooting 1.2 aperture log at 800 ISO and you're shooting outside and it's sunny, you're probably gonna need about eight to nine stops and your three to six stop isn't gonna work. So instead of swapping this entire base out, you just grab one of the lesser expensive Endies and you boost it there and now this thing is a, well, there's different stops. You can do a two stop booster, three stop booster, or a four stop booster to add to your VND power. So those are pretty cool too. And then the bases ship in this super nice little compact package. You've got this metal piece that threads onto the back and that's gonna protect the filter when, if you've just got it stored like this in your bag and then also the rubber defender on the front which is gonna protect the front element. So this is really nice and helpful. If say you like wanna leave your base on your camera like this, you can just put that rubber defender over and just kind of keep your system like this set up in your bag. And then you just pop this off, pop your hood on and you're ready to go shoot. Super easy, clean, simple, compact. Now let's go into the mists cause this is kind of a new one for us. We got the gold mist, the black mist and the white mist. So the previous mists on this were all white mist filters and the new black mist we've got in a quarter strength and a one eighth strength. So black mist, basically the little particles inside are all black, little black mist flakes. And what those do is when you are shooting into a scene and there's strong highlights, that's basically going to create some diffusion on those highlights and bloom them. So this is often called highlight roll off, diffusion, or mist. Basically just gives it a nice diffusion layer over your highlights. Now the black mist is really nice and cool because it's gonna preserve your shadows. It's not gonna mist out or halate over your shadows. So if you have like a light source, I just shot this comparison you can see here. There's the light stick right here with the cabinet in the back. And when the black mist is on, it preserves the the richness and the depth of the shadow, that black cabinet behind it, and the light is pretty much, just the light is halating a little bit. It's very subtle. Now, if you look at the gold mist, this is gonna be a more distinct halation because those little particles in there are gold, and it's gonna turn your highlights a little bit warmer. So it's a really cool effect. It warms up your highlights, gives it nice smooth roll off, but the difference is, this is going to halate over your mids and even some of your shadows. So it's gonna kind of bring halation into your entire composition, which gives it definitely like a warm filmic look. So for these ones, the strength of a 1 8 on the gold mist is gonna look pretty similar to a 1 quarter on the black mist, just because of those properties I just explained for that black mist is preserving shadows, but the gold mist is bloom, blooming over the shadows. So it looks a lot stronger of an effect than the black mist. The black mist is way more subtle. So the 1 8 gold mist is gonna be very similar to the 1 quarter black mist. And we got a comparison for you here. You can see the gold mist going from nothing to throwing that 1 8 on, which is a nice, pretty subtle effect, warms the highlights a little bit. And then you've got the one quarter, which definitely you're starting to see a lot more warming across the entire composition. And then the one half is just really giving you that stylized look, very filmic. You're losing some contrast in this situation. It's misting over and halating over everything in the scene. So this, the one, one half gold mist is a very, very stylized, pronounced effect. Now let's go to this outside scene. You can see this car I just shot. First, we started with the gold mist actually. So no filter here. Uh, this is outdoors. You're possibly gonna see it. It depends how much difference there is in the shadows to the highlights. So when there's huge swings between shadows and highlights and you expose for the shadows, the highlights are gonna start to obviously get blown out. And that's when your mists are really gonna, you're gonna take notice the effect of that smooth highlight roll off. But if you're exposing for the highlights, 
and underexposing the shadows, you're really not gonna see any mist effect at all. So you can see outdoors, these mist filters have less effect than like an indoor setting where there's a huge range between shadows and highlights. All right, that's the difference between your black mist and gold mist. That's pretty much the recon system. In general, the packages for this one are, you can get the polarizer VND in a package just on its own where it'll include the base filter. It'll include the filter delete plate if you ever want to use the map box without the VND filter. And then it will include this nice little compact little pouch here. Everything fits in here, so it's super tight and clean. Oh, also includes the uh, core, obviously, and the carbon fiber flag. So tight little package, super nice for that starter kit there. Then you can also add the regular VND three to six into that package. So you get the, if you don't want a polarizer, sometimes you've got the regular VND three to six stop, polarizer VND three to six stop base. That package will also include the filter delete here. Also will include the one eighth strength gold mist. So it'll give you some nice smooth gold highlight roll off. And then the one quarter black mist, which is going to be pretty equivalent of the same diffusion level as the uh, 1 8 gold mist there. So that's a nice, nice little package to get you started. And then you can obviously add on your individual stage two filters as needed. That's pretty much it. System in general, you've got your base, you got your bases that thread onto 82 millimeter threads. If you've got smaller lenses, you can use step up rings to get these bases on there. And then you've got the, the hoods, which snap right on here. And then you have the stage two, which will go right into the bases. That's it for this one. If you guys have any questions, happy to answer them. Drop them below. I'm Jeff with Polar Pro, and we'll see you on the next one.